Holy shit, it's episode 55 of Scatcast. Great. I'm the scriptkeeper, Zach Flannery, and that's Steve, he's back. Yep. Just in time for our all-music Scatcast. Tom. Oh, I missed you, Steve. Fuck you. Oh, give me a hug. Get fucking off Come me. Here. Come here. You smell. Oh, but Steve. No, thank you. Oh, but oh. I said no, thank you. All right, this week on Scatcast, we're going to look back at this year's music. It's a fucking clip show. I mean, we did so much music, Steve. I should have stayed away. Whatever. All right, so the theme song of this here show, or at least the intro music, is this. <laughs> But this is a song that I call Dancing Ashes, Dumb. and I lifted part of the first verse from something I heard Christopher Hitchens say. Who? Whatever, I played it before, but I'll play a little bit of it. I'm living my life like a candle flame, let some of this world, baby, pray for rain. Sick of this truth when it's not the same as anybody out there saying. I was born into the world like a cannon blast Heading straight for the wall, baby, do my best Everybody seems to think they know what it means But it screams bullshit to me Cause it's okay to say you're wrong It's okay that you don't know It's okay if you just let go, let go, let go Everybody must free this form Everybody will finally get to know Right, so I've played it before. I won't play the whole thing. Thank goodness. But again, that's based on a quote from Christopher Hitchens that sounds like this. I know what's coming. I know no one beats these odds. And it's a matter of getting used to that and growing up and realizing that you're expelled from your mother's uterus as if shot from a cannon towards a barn door studded with old nail files and rusty hooks. It's a matter of how you use up the intervening time in an intelligent and ironic way. And try not to do anything ghastly to your fellow creatures. Obviously, Christopher made his point in a much more eloquent way. Ugh. Now, the music of Scatcast includes theme songs. There's some parody stuff. We have our in-house bands like Anarchist Against Anarchy and the Lilac City Nightmare Band. There's been music in shows like Gunner Halifax and, of course, Liam the Monster Hunter. Hey. At some point in this year, we had Jesus singing a grunge song. Oh, you filthy yeah, fucking... Yeah. The plus, there's tons of Dave and Angus music. Terrible. There's Bob Dylan singing contemporary music. We got it all today. I remember saying no thank you. I thought that was for the hug. It's for all of it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've planned quite a few little dumb things that we're going to go into today. But we'll start with Dave and Angus and their top five theme songs of the Scatcast universe. You had voices in your head, yep. ranked the songs that you wrote. Yes. And you know what I want to say to that? Dumb. Yeah, Zach. Dave and Angus, top five, go. Top five of Dave and Angus, top five. Favorite theme songs that Scatcast did this year, I guess, or something. Top five of Dave and Angus, top five for you, for you. What's up, guys? Angus and Dave here. Man, we're on a beautiful beach in Florida. Yeah, we've been just chilling for two weeks. This is our last week. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, like a lovely vacation. Except for Scatcast has us working the whole time, Dave. Yeah, that is true. Including right the fuck now. Yeah, we've been asked to rank our favorite theme songs from Scatcast. Which I think is ridiculous, because I don't like Scatcast. Angus, we're on Scatcast. And Angus said what he said. Right, well, why don't we just get to it? All right, Dave's favorite dumb theme songs from dumb Scatcast. What's your number five? Yeah, I actually like the Santa Claus Crime Fighter mm. yeah, theme. We're just shouting at people. Yeah, it's kind of heavy metal, but I like it. Gross. All right, number five for me is the Black Sheep theme. Yeah, that's because you Sing it. That's right, Dave. Sing it with me. Black sheep, black sheep. Uh, raise your voice if you need to bleed. Uh, black sheep, black sheep. Raise your hoof if you feel the beat. I might have did that backwards. Am I getting residuals for that? I don't know. All right, what does your stupid list say? Number four. Um, it's actually from the dipshit files. It's called uh, Friendly Friends. Friendly Friends. Um, it's a little kids parody show in between like serial killer terrible things. What? And it just goes, friendly friends are friendly as fuck. And this is on Scatcast. The dipshit files sometimes when the serial killers get too, you know, evil. I hate you, Dave. Uh, whatever, fucking, what's your number four? Well, there's a Nurse Fairy Rhymes song that has me singing um, it. The theme song to the Nurse Fairy Rhymes. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, they don't use that version, though. Yeah, we'll ask a Scatcast business model is to do the stupid right. thing. Is that why they're paying for you to be in Florida. Yeah, probably. But there's a version of me singing it somewhere that's real good. Right. All right. My number three is the Gunner Halifax theme. Fucking hate it. Now, you hate that show because it's challenging the popularity of our show. Wrong. Okay. I hate that show because it sucks compared to our show. <laughs> okay. Fucking space bullshit. You want to see space bullshit? Put Dave and Angus in space. Yeah, I don't want that in any form. Whatever. Fuck Gunner Halifax. Whatever. I like that song. Whenever I hear the beginning, come on. I'm like, yeah. Whatever. It's too long. It's too dumb. I'm not in it. Yeah, yeah. What's your number three? All right. My number three is the post apocalyptica theme song. Which, once again, you wrote and sang. Are you sensitive theme? I feel like we should have stipulated. 
related at the beginning, like non-Dave and Angus stuff. Too late, Dave. It's the end of the world, post-apocalypse. It's the end of the... You know the song. I do. It's actually one of my least favorite that we do. How fucking dare you, Dave? Well, it's dark and kind of slow and sad. I'll drop a sad on your face, Dave. It's supposed to be that well, way. I know. Compared to the other songs, you know, it has better lyrics than most of your songs. I'll say that. Oh, eat your own shit, Dave. Well, I feel like it's true. Whatever. What's your number two? Right, my number two is actually the Book of Schmogey theme song. I hate it. I, mean, I just like Dr. Schmogey. He's a nice little guy. He's an awkward shit in the office. Well, and you know what the basic flaw of that song is? I think I know what you're going to say. There's no Angus singing it. Right. That's what I thought you'd say. Yeah, Scatcast only does good work when I'm involved, Dave. Right. Well, I like the Book of Schmogey song because just like the Gunner Halifax song, you're like, okay, yeah, let's go to space. Whatever, fucking Dave. Here's my number two. You ready? Yes. And it's actually fucking good. It's the Ice Walls theme song. I guess you wrote like 25 Ice Walls songs. It's the one that we used for the voyage, Dave. Right. Your whole list is songs that you sang, isn't it? When Angus has made his stance clear. Hey, well, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Said, hey. Now, seek the walls, everybody out there. That was a terrible trip. We almost all died. I loved it. All right, so that leads me to my number one, which is Time Traveling Jesus. I hate it. But you hate it. There's Blasphemous, there's no Angus. Everyone involved in that song was on drugs. I don't know. Or whatever. It's upbeat. It's meant to make you feel like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, it makes me want to leave for sure. All right, what's your number one theme song for Skycast that you obviously are going to sing? I'm glad that you can see it. It's obvious. Thanks. But it's a big old tie, Dave. Oh, boy. First of all, the Dave and Angus Show theme song. No, you're not the lead singer on that. I am the best part of it, though. Yikes. But it was our chance to collaborate with Kevin McLeod from the Clan McLeod, Dave. That's true. And Mr. McLeod can play the fuck out that banjo. Yes, he can. But that's also tied with all the other times I sing on our show, Dave, the David Angus Show, every Thursday here on the Skycast Network. Just every time you open your mouth. Well, I'm pretty freaking sure at the beginning of this here segment they played our top five song, and that shit's tight, Dave. I appreciate your humility. I'll lay a big steaming pile of humility on your chest, Dave. Yikes. Okay, I've had enough of this. Yeah, me too. I'm going to go push that little kid with the beach ball down and punch his dad in the face. Yikes. We'll see you this Thursday on the Skycast Network for more David Angus Show. It's Dave. I feel like you might have heard that song enough. So fucking much. Well, we do have some rare songs that we don't use very often, like this one. And I don't do that one very often. Thank crap. And then before Time Traveling Jesus and the Sea Squad, don't you feel? on my radio show, I used to have a little skit series called Eavesdropping in the Office of God. Don't you turn. But Time Traveling Jesus seemed way more fun to me. But in case you missed it, it sounded like this. Ooh. Eavesdropping in the Office of God. Yeah. yeah. Sponsored by Crackers Night Crackers. What are we doing? Just playing theme songs? Just a couple, man. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, most of you guys know the theme songs that we play all the time. Please stop. But we've also made theme songs to shows that we haven't used yet or we may never use. Ugh. Or like this song that came from the Henry Kissinger's children's show, Kissinger's Kids. Kissinger's Kids, they're your friends. They love you until the end of the world that's come from crazies all around. Kissinger's Kids really love you. I think Lord Kissinger was trying to get that picked up by PBS, but they didn't bite. Yikes. And then there's shows like Mysterious Globe, which we've been talking about all year, but just hasn't come together yet. Which means it's dumb. No, but here's the theme song. Mysterious Globe. repeat the name of the show over and over again. Yeah, but it's in an opera voice, Steve. Oh. Well, in the same vein, Please, no. before we fleshed out what we wanted to do with Sea squad and Time Traveling Jesus, no, you fuck I know, I know. Me. We wanted to do some sort of comic book character, and we thought of Government Man. Oh. And the idea was having, like, remember Captain Planet? I do. They were going to have five little kids with little rings, and they were going to summon, you know, Ugh. Government Man. Dumb. But the Captain Planet kids had, you know, like, good rings. Right. These kids have, like, you know, government waste, monopoly of force, foreign wars, that kind of stuff. Oh. I didn't develop any further than what you're about to hear. It's just a little, little snippet. It, and then, you know, there's two theme songs for it, though, that were kind of fun. You're just repeating the name of the show over and over again, aren't you? Shut the fuck up, Steve. Government man, he's a government man, he's a government man, and he's gone to fuck your shit a government man, a government man. Actually, I'm not going to play the whole skit. It's very dumb, but here's the end. It's when the kids who have rings who represent government for some reason, dumb. they have summoned government man to help a person solve their problem, which is getting a chitter into bed. And so government man has been summoned. What's wrong with you? A lot. Here we go. Right. Government man has a plan. Uh, yes, I do have a plan. What's your name, citizen? Uh, yeah, I'm Todd. And the child's name? Uh, also Todd. Mmm. 
This is complicated. That's what we said. All right, this is the bed here. Yeah, yeah, this is his bed. I've got it. Wait, wait, wait. What are you, what are you doing with that? Daddy. Wait. Don't you worry, wait. little Todd. Government man knows what he's wait, doing. No. Uh, there we go. We don't. No, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm what? solving your Dude, problem for you, obviously. If little Timmy won't sleep in his bed, now no one has beds. Now fuck? no one can sleep. Happy you? to have helped. Till we meet again. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Dude. He just smashed through my fucking house. Yeah, he does that sometimes. After setting it on fire. Yeah, you gotta break a few eggs to make the omelet, I guess. Dude, he killed my dog. It's Puppy. for the greater good, dude. <laughs> Puppy. I think he took my fucking wallet. Yeah, that's for the greater good, too. Yeah. We'll put that money to better use than you will. Please, please get the fuck out of my oh, house while okay, I try and keep uh, it from burning all the way to the fucking ground. Thank you very much. You're I'll welcome. make sure and remember to call the government. Thank you. Goodbye. You're welcome, all right, dude. Well. You're welcome. Another job well done, guys. Yeah, I think we really made an impact here. I don't know, the smoke is kind of probably not that green, though. No, that's the green smoke of justice. Oh. Yeah, that smoke's okay, because we made it. That's, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, technically, we made everything uh, much worse. Oh, shut up. Yeah, we shut up. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes you gotta wonder. Are we the good guys? We're definitely the good guys. Dude, I'm the goodest guy. Government will come and save you from the stupidest person they know. That's you, that's you, you're stupid as fuck, and they don't care who you are. They'll take your cash and burn your stash and shoot your fucking dog. That's just how every government works. It's not personal at all. Don't blame the people. Blame the system. Yeah, but it's full of people. Oh. Right, we only made the pilot and we left it at that, but there's the music. Also dumb. Right, well that was based on a true story. What? Yeah, it's not government, man, it was the police. But Officer Getchell told me people called all the time for that. So they called the police to get their kids to go to bed? Yeah, many times. That's fucking ridiculous. Well, that reminds me, Shaden and I, the co-host from Just a Ride, we're coming up with a theme song every week for our other co-host, Jeff, and his police stories. And they sound something like this. Police story, burn the Jeff catches cuts and police stories for you. It's gonna be feel like a police story guy. <laughs> I think yeah. it gets better every it week, gets, personally. It's yeah. certainly... But okay. <laughs> well, we keep working on it. Here was last week's. Yeah. Police stories. Police stories. I'm a ghetto. Yeah. I'm a good guy. Yeah. Give me a police. Woo. Keep going. I think, that I, think, was, I think we've been getting successively yeah. better. I mean, we've got a that. chorus. We need a bridge. And then we need some verses. <laughs> 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 We're fucking coming well, with our guitars. It's kind of ironic that you guys <laughs> have a whole fucking I've got like a bunch <laughs> upstairs. We should grab some. It's kind of ironic that you guys actually just did that because uh, this is uh, things. <laughs> this is going to be <laughs> the one <laughs> thing he This hates. isn't another prison pocket thing. No. <laughs> things not to say to the police if you don't want to look like a douchebag. Police story. <laughs> tell us your story. <laughs> hey, policeman, tell us your stories while you're getting gas. Like, sorry. Like singing a song. Oh. Yeah, so Jeff isn't a big fan of Shaden and I's song. Everyone here is ridiculous. Right, well, more weird music shit after these messages. Traumatized Clown Group International Records presents Deranged Clown Brigade Incorporated, their 82nd album, Murder Clown Chronicles in the Key of Hate, featuring hit songs, No One Was Ever Nice to Me. Never did you say a nice word to me. Now it's stab, 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 stab till you're dead. Never did you hang out after work with me. Now it's stab, stab, stab till you're dead. Also featuring the new single, I Just Need a Hug. I need a hug. Even a clown can cry. I need a hug. I need a hug. Even a clown can feel your pain. Give me a hug. Even a clown who wants to see you die can feel again. Yeah, yeah. Then there's this weird song that got them put on a no-fly list. It's Jeffrey Dahmer, Ed. Eileen Warner's Palpatine, Night Stalker, Son of Sam, Yakin Crowland, Anakin, Ted Bundy, Chickatillo, Edward Kemper, Master Fisto, Jack the Ripper, Dennis Raider, Boba fucking Fett. I like Star Wars and learning about serial killers, lightsabers and murder porn. That is what's for dinner. I like Star Wars and learning about serial killers, lightsabers and murder. And then there's also this song for some reason. God damn, look at all you nasty fucks. Throw your hands up if you need a hug. God damn, every fucking one of you. I got a little hope left, so what you gonna do? Said boom, motherfucker, now clean your room and wash your ass and stop doing drugs. Said boom, motherfucker, clean your room. You're doing fine, but you could do better. Boom, motherfucker, clean your room. 
wash your ass and stop doing drugs and boom, motherfucking clean your room. You're doing fine, but you could do better. The new album from Deranged Clown Brigade Incorporated, Murder Clown Chronicles in the Key of Hate, only available on Traumatized Clown Group International Records. All right, we're back, and we're doing music shit today. There'll be skit scats next week for sure. Oh, goody. Well, one thing that my super agreeable friend and I have done a lot this year is interlude battles. It's been super dumb. I mean, I just started doing interludes in your face for, you know, basically the whole entirety of the show. Yeah. You know, interludes like this. Oh. Interlude. Interlude. This is an interlude. You're listening to an interlude. Interlude. Do you like my this interlude? interlude? Hope you like this interlude. 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 God, that's dumb. Yeah, but I wrote and recorded all that music. To do that stupid shit over it. Yeah, well, then there was this one. Stop abruptly. I don't like change. Let's do this one. Interlude. It's a fucking interlude that you're listening to. Interlude. It changes up the segment so we know that we're moving on. Interlude. Yeah. And you just kept going and going. Yeah, there was this one. This is my interlude. This is my interlude. So fuck you. This is my interlude. It was somewhere around episode 8 that I really started to punish you, Steve. Yeah, you interluded the fuck out of my personal space. Yeah, with interludes like this. You're the fucking sting of my interlude, yeah. Interlude right in your face, yeah. Do you like the way my interlude feels when it's getting up into your space? That is the part I don't like, is when you get really close in my face. Right, well I tried to switch up the genre so you'd feel more comfortable, Steve. I hate you. Well, here's the sea shanty interlude. There once was an interlude they'd sing upon the seas when their beer they'd drink. Upon their glasses they would clink, and then they'd go drink a shit. Right, terrible. Well then I was like, let's pick it up, Steve. Ugh. So there was this. Interlude. 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 Fucking interlude. Interlude. Fucking interlude. Fucking interlude. Interlude. Fucking interlude. Oh, yeah. Fucking interlude. Interlude. Fucking interlude. Oh, yeah. Fucking interlude. Interlude. Fucking interlude. Interlude. Fucking interlude. Interlude. Fucking interlude. You just repeat curse words. Right, well, I remember you saying that, so then I made this. Now it's time. Ooh, for an interlude. No one can tell you that. Scat casting. The best you've ever had. Oh, that just makes a guy fall asleep. Right, well then I started picking it up so that you'd pick it up, Steve. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why there's this one. I'm skating, I'm scatting, I'm shitting, I'm shedding, I made all these rhymes and making the loose happen new. I made this goddamn interlude for you, Steven. Yes, I did. I'm skating, I'm scatting, I'm shitting, I'm shedding, I made all these rhymes and making the loose happen new. I made this goddamn interlude for you, Steven. I like at least that you didn't scream it at me. Right, and I noticed that, and that's why I made this one. No, oh, God damn it! This is totally unnecessary. You're just yelling at me. This can't be good for your throat. I'm stopping that right now. Oh, but oh, Steve. Yeah, stop it right now. Stop no, that. Give me another chance, Steve. Please stop. No, I got it. I got it. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get your hands on me. Stop touching me. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on. Come on. Turn that off, fucking we stop. But I didn't stop, Steve. No. I turned it up. You really did. Like with this motherfucker. Steve, 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 Steve. Come on, bitch. Interlude, Steve, Steve, Steve. It's an interlude, Steve. Interlude, Steve, Steve, Steve. It's an interlude, Steve. Come on. Interlude, Steve, Steve, Steve. It's an interlude, Steve. 
Steve, 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 it's an interlude. Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve, it's an interlude, motherfucking interlude. Did you ever hear the interlude that I interluded? It's an interlude for you, Steve, Steve. Did you interlude? Steve, it's an interlude for you, Steve, Steve. Steve. All the Steves that ever interluded, Steve, you're the Stevest. Of all the Steves that ever interluded, hey Steve, you're the Stevest. Motherfucker. Around this point is when I'd had enough. Yeah, it was right around episode 30 that Steve started to interlude back. Need my interlude. Need my motherfucking interlude. Yeah, need my interlude. Need my motherfucking interlude. Zach, interludes are stupid and I don't want you to do them. And I wish that you would stop, but you will never fucking stop because you're stupid. And I don't think that you know that you are doing that you're dumb, that you're dumb, that you're dumb, that you're dumb, dumb, dumb. And that was the first time I handed you your ass. Well, the battle intensified. Yeah, I guess. Whatever, Steve, then we interluded like this. I'll tell you what, Zach, your interludes are crap. And when it's time to do an interlude, the Steve controls that. I push the button, Zach. I hit the talk back. I give you little quips of mine like dumb and fuck that. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Well, I feel that, Steve, and I'm feeling you flowing about my interlude style and how you think you are owning me. But when it comes to interludes, the script keeper spits and leaves that poor Steve in his wide world of shit. Well, that's not how I see it. Well, do you see it clearly? I see through your shit. Well, I've got skits, gats of fury. I think your skits, gats of whack. Shut the fuck up, fucking Steve. Your dead mom wouldn't laugh. Well, on that, I would agree. My dead mom would find this shit appalling. It's an interlude, Steve. It's an interlude, Zach. Oh, an interlude, Steve. It's an interlude, Zach. It's take, an interlude, Steve. Take your interludes back. In your face. No, thank you. It's an interlude, Steve. It's an interlude, Zach. Oh, it's an interlude, Steve. It's an interlude, Zach. It's an interlude, Steve. Fuck you, dude. In your face. Shut the fuck up, please. It's Steve's face. Yeah, this is getting really old. Yeah, I don't think you won that one. Whatever. And I don't know if you won this one either. What, are you gonna play all of them? Fuck you, fucking Steve. I think it's time we do this right, Steve. Eat shit, Zach. Every time you say I'm dumb, it makes me sad, Steve. Every time you're talking shit, it makes me mad, Steve. Every time you come to work, you say you wanna leave. Yep. Talking shit, talking shit, talking mad ass shit, Steve. Well, every time I come to work, you smell like B.O. Zach. Well, and I don't like an office space that smells like Sasquatch ass. So when I'm asking to leave early, it's because you stink. And I'm getting pretty goddamn tired of spraying your desktop with Febreze. Oh, it's you doing that yep. shit. That's why when I drink from my coffee cup, it tastes like fucking Febreze. Where do you Steve, it's in the loot time. I make a few words rhyme, but it's hard to decide. So I roll the fucking dice and say, yeah. Mm, I wish that Steve would be a bit more supportive of me. Just an interlude, Zach. Take a few steps back. You smell like the sack of a yak that's never washed its ass. Ouch, Steve. That's why we bought you cologne for your birthday. All right, well. Yep. Are we done here? Yeah, we're done here. I mean, it's obvious I won that one. All right, I do sound kind of defeated there. All right, how about this one? Oh. It's more convenient for me if you stay here, Stephen, leaving Cause you are the button pusher and I'd rather that you did your job I always ask to leave and it is always when we're starting Cause I think you have a motherfucking problem pushing buttons It's your job You can find a way to try, I wouldn't have to lay a rhyme upon you Steve, you lazy motherfucker, here I am to teach you why There's nothing I would rather do than beat your motherfucking ass down with an interlude You're the engineer here, so I'd like for you to do your job well, I've heard all of the shit that you said. Your brain is dead. You're fucking dumber than I thought you were when I said you're dumb. Now I'm thinking that I'm all in your head. You need some meds. All this started because something I said. I'd like to go back to bed, Zach. Well, I mean. I hired you to push the buttons, though, Steve. Skit scats or wax act. Get the fuck off my back, Jack. Uh, no. I mean, can I go home? Dude, we barely even started the show. Fuck. Come on, Steve, let's just do this, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Together we were sent to loot. Together we were sent to loot to you. Motherfucking in a loot, motherfucker. Together we were sent to loot. Together we were sent to loot to you. Motherfucking in a loot, Together we were sent to loot. Together we were sent to loot for you. Motherfucking in a Together we must sit to live together, we must sit to live together. 
At worst, I tied that one with you. Fuck you, dude, I smoked you. Whatever, then there was this one. Skit scats for your earballs, bitches. Skits, for your earballs, Steve, I'm just a guy Trying to find my place in the world with my interlude rhymes Well, Zach, you smell like the crack The crack of a Zach who never learned to wash his ass cause he's whack And ooh, Steve, Steve that, that fucking, fucking hurts me bad It's not an insult, motherfucker, it's the truth, however sad Now, 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 wait, I thought we had a truce about the interlude Well, you called me out, you stinky cunt, so still we are a feudin' Ooh, a motherfucking interlude We roll into your life like a family feud The scat's like fucking nation, it begins with you Skit scats for your earballs, bitches Ooh, a motherfucking interlude We roll into your life like a family feud The scat's like fucking nation, it begins with you Skit scats for your earballs, bitches Well, Steve, I'm not sure I've been clear It seems we are competing I've murdered you so fucking hard Your contacts I'm deleting I'm not settling for all this bullshit Condescended tribe If you got something to say you can hear yourself, Zach, you're so whacked you could crack Under the pressure of your ego, a mammoth that's at the crap Shots fired, Steve, but I don't give a fuck, I'll go get Tim's Well, a garbage can with Google eyes would be better than him That's true Ooh, a motherfucking interlude We roll into your life like a family feud This guy's like fucking nation, it begins with you Skit scats for your earballs, bitches Ooh, a motherfucking interlude We roll into your life like a family feud This guy's like fucking nation, it begins yeah, you can't be thinking you won that one. Well, I feel like we all win when we interlude, Steve. Fuck you, eat this one. I'll break it down. Oh, yeah. Like that rampage game. Lizards in the King Kong's fucking up everything in assault on your brainy meat. Court is raining down on me. Oh. All I'm saying is that my interludes are fucking slaying Steve's ass. Oh, yeah. The way it's gonna be. That's not the way it is. Never gonna say it is. Uh. Before I'm feeling faded, I need something satiated. Cry your tears, motherfucker. Let me go the fuck home. No. Nope. And podcast interludes where people have me the fucking Pope Zach. You do like funny hats, Steve. You're embarrassing yourself, Jack. Yeah, it's Zach Beav. I'm gonna beave my steel toed boot in your belly thumb basket. Wait, is that you kicking me in the dick or like the testicles you're a fool step into my interlude no stickers at the desk with his dirty shoes you're a douche a douche of the douchey douche you douchey douche fucking motherfucker you douche two fools step into an interlude two dumb motherfuckers do an interlude two fools think a nigga dare to lose for you and I can interlude just fine. Yeah, I say I interluded pretty well. I smoked you, Jack. Yeah, fuck you, B. Dude, Steve, you just phoned that one in. I wasn't prepared that week. Yeah, then I came at you with this. Uh. Fucking talk with you, Steve. Every day before the meetings, but you're obstinate, Steve. And you always keep me waiting on your attitude, dude. You're always interrupting me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You got amongst the best parking spots that this building has available, Steve. Available. But do you think, Miss Steve? No. Is it awkward to make it so? You're always going on with the hippity jibbity, wanna go home. Say you teach yourself the bounce yourself, I think you wanna know it. You should thought yourself in city square for thinking you're a poet. You should take your own advice with those weak ass rhymes. If I were you, I'd wanna take a shower some of the time, baby. I need something more than people can dig jokes. Never did it once, ask for this, no. I need something more than cunt cock and tears, Zach, bro. The fuck up, weirdo, get a job. I need something more than people from dead jokes. Never did I once ask for this, no. I need something more than car cutting tear jokes. Go the fuck up, weirdo, get a job. An interlude, straight for you. Got an interlude for Steven, too, yeah. Got an interlude, Steve, Steven, too. You probably think you won that one. I feel like I always win, Steve. Yeah, well, it gets pretty weird beyond this point. I don't know what these last two were. Probably me gloating over my interlude battle victory, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Well, Steve's a little child of interludes, when You've had a lot of time to get your resume out there. I do a little interlude, makes you want to groove, Steve. You tell me that I suck and that you wanna leave, Steve Suck because I'm stuck inside your head, you cunt I wanna leave because you're cheese and I'm intolerant You never seem to shut your face, it's always spitting at me And now I have to slap your dirty dumbass because it's clapping Who, who needs an I do not There's no way to know you need an I will make it so Suck on my goddamn interlude, Steven Suck on 
Listening back, do you regret the things that you say in public, Zach? Well, there's certainly no chance I could run for office or be a public school teacher or be trusted in any way, really. No. Yeah, Patreon.com forward slash Skycast helps. No, thank you. Right, well, here was the last interlude in this series, me gloat again. This was super awkward. I had my dance moves down. This was so weird. <laughs> on our voices, Steve. Well, it's not necessary, and I'd still like to leave. Dude, stop yelling. You're, dude, you're yelling at me. Zach, hey, can you even hear me? Hey, you're getting a stop bubble coming out of your nose. Fuck you, Steve. And that was our interlude battle, which I obviously won. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, I think it's up to the listeners to decide. Yeah, it's fucking obvious who won. Well, Steve and I are going to disagree while you guys check out these messages. After years of waiting, the legend has returned. Bob Dylan, like you've never heard him before. A brand new album featuring new genres for the master of lyrics to explore. Like the new single, Johnny on the Picket Line. It's Johnny on your picket line. Johnny on the game. album also features the hit single, Something Something Government. The album also features the touching ballad, Lay Lady Lay, on my face. Lay Lady Lay, no, lay upon Bobby's face, yeah. And this album contains even weirder things like this. And finally, the track that five or six guys in Finland seem to like, Blood Crusher, the government something. Get the new album, Bob Dylan Does Death Metal and Other Crazy Shit, available probably. And we return. Ugh. Now, all of the shows have some music in them, it seems. Yeah. It's because my mind, probably like your minds, are filled with music all the time. Yeah. Now, I haven't allowed the scientists to science my mind for a while, but they're getting back to it here this week. I hope you hate it. I do hate it, but I did notice that we have a bunch of theme songs for the skits guy. Don't just play theme songs. Well, come on, Steve. There were like four different versions before we settled on this one, I guess. Ooh, inside. Okay. But before that, there was this one. Inside, Inside my mind, my, 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 motherfucker. motherfucker. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Fucking terrible. Yeah, we definitely felt like that one didn't work. Right. But then there was this one. Ugh. Inside my mind, it's stupid as fuck and you know it. Yeah. Inside my mind, there's a bunch of stupid shit that I shouldn't share, but here we go anyway. Yeah, you really have shared a lot. Yeah, well, life is short. But there was also this theme song for Inside My Mind, Steve. No one cares. Inside my mind, it's just like I'm a passenger here. And all these voices reacting and always so clear. So much bummers and present to make it all worse. Station burritos, burritos, I'm under their curse. Right. There was also plenty of music inside the show, Inside My Mind, from the science of the... Fuck, here, like this. You should sing songs. They're taking balls I out. can't contain it. Ah, oh, damn it, Today here we go. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. I see. By now, you should have somehow realized what you're not today. Everybody sing. 
said, I don't, I don't believe that there's anybody, anybody feels, feels the way I do about you now. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is this, man? I don't know how I would ever have heard this song. Just try and keep it together. It's, you know, it's a song we've never heard. Are you guys listening to the lyrics? No, not really. Why? Just listen. Um, no, thank you. No. Anger is not. I know, like, okay. we're not. This isn't good for yeah, us. Yeah, we're getting pretty tense. Yeah, all the angry chemicals are rising. I don't oh, like that they haven't calm. stopped this yet. Oh, I'm God, down, though. So. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I refuse to listen. It's this one. We can't like this song. No. Uh, no one does. this what? person. Mm, ouch. If we should be mean to what them. You, this this is a bad person. What have you done? No. Ow. Yuck. This makes me want to blow up them all. Remember what I said about being on your best behavior? Partying, partying, yeah. Partying, partying, yeah. Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend. Uh, we gotta have a bloody nose at this point. Right. There was also some music inside my head when they recorded my anger. Ugh. I guess this is me with road rage. Get out of the passing lane, you jackass! Oh shit, anger's here. Anger's here. Get the fuck out of my way, you cunt! I will kill you today, you fucking son of a row asshole! I will be no dead in the war! Your face is not mine! I hate your mom! You made me hot, but it's you asshole! I'd like to drive you off the fucking road! You're a dick If you don't kill Kill us all I don't wanna die Just because you were dumb And these are the musical notes of chemistry Inside my mind when I stub my toe Okay, we're walking We're walking Things are normal and fine Oh, hit the side of the bed We're not wearing shoes Shit, shit, shit Here comes anger I'm just fucking stub my fucking toe up on the bed Most fuck I will fucking take this bed apart With all the heat I am I will burn your boards And swash your feet And grind your head to dust I will kill the world because I hurt my thoughts Burn the world cause my trouble hurts to hurt Kill the world Burn the world cause my trouble hurts to hurt Kill the world Ow my fucking toe It fucking hurts and I did my worst to it again And I'm fucking dumb but I fucking yell just like I can Cause ow my toe I think my favorite episode of Inside My Mind was when they played us songs that we all kind of like. Or at least from a certain age group, like these. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, inner child. Yes. Get it, inner oh, child. Yeah. Get that shit. I'm a great dancer. No, we are not. Oh yeah. No, we Let's are not. dance. No, stop that. Now this oh. is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Yeah. This isn't Cheers. What is this? A growing pain. Family Matters? Red Shoe Diaries. Debbie Does Dallas. Oh, nice. Those are good memory oh, yeah. spots, right? I don't remember this. What is this? Uh, this was on right after cartoons, Hanna Barbera. Oh, yeah. No way, I don't yeah, remember yeah, this yeah. at all. Who had the patience for these kind of songs? What's this? Know, Twenty minute intro. Yeah. Somehow inner child knows what's going it on. Feels familiar. Should we jerk it a little bit? Shut up, sex drive. No, I think we do know this song. Oh. Yeah, um, on top of the world. Oh, shit bears, I know this. Should have been somebody else. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Believe it or not, I'm working on it. That's I never thought I could feel. So free, he, he. Hungry. I don't know the words there. Do you know the words? None of us know the words. No, no that's right. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's just me. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah, we've definitely been programmed by the Illuminati, that's for sure. I'm 100% fuck Illuminati confirmed. Inside my mind, I'm a piece of shit. And I'm sorry to my mama. And we'll be right back after these messages. Satanic Horror Records presents Glenn Danzig Like You've Never Heard Him Before with an all new acoustic album, Demon Guts Part 4, featuring the sequel to his hit song Mother, Father. Father, tell your new wife not to be a belt. Tell her not to make me clean my room, which just means she makes me sound. Father! And also his new duet with Eddie Vedder. It's called Geriatric Grandfather on Top of a Refrigerator in a Large Metropolitan Area. Unplugged. Haunting familiar can seem to place Mother! What? And his new ballad, Love Me Like a Corpse You Slut. Girlfriend, do you really want to have sex with me? Do you really want to? Have that with me, I wouldn't. Glenn 
Danzig's new solo acoustic album, Demon Guts 4, available where music is ignored. And I love Danzig, by the way. Okay. And I adore Bob Dylan. No. And I respect on some level the insane clown posse. Fuck you, dude. Whoop, whoop. Respect. I said respect. Ugh. Brilliant businessmen and performers. Yeah, who the fuck are you? That is a very, very good point, Steve. I'm the guy that's making the Sea Squad. Oh, that's about Jesus, you filthy. Yeah, this whole season's gonna be about the Christ Squad and heaven and hell battles. Who and... the fuck do you think you are? Just a monkey on a rock having to ride around the sun in the vacuum of space, cunt. Ugh. But one of my favorite shows and one of my favorite theme songs is this one. Get this right, it's Jesus Christ is gonna go back in time and fix our plight. It's gonna bring back the beat, the beat, don't stop beating, cause it'll bring back the beat, the beat, don't stop beating, cause of Jesus Christ is time traveler. Bring back the beat, the beat, don't stop beating, cause of Jesus Christ is time traveler. Bring back the beat, the beat, don't stop beating, cause of time traveler. So we're just playing theme songs that you've played 40 fucking times already. <laughs> well, Santa Claus Crime Fighter. Don't you child. That song was written by the Lilac City Nightmare Band as far as the canon of Scott goes. Well, uh, we get it. You like playing distorted guitars. But Santa's part of Sea Squad, and here's a song. Oh, my God. Santa Claus is coming to town. Gonna beat your ass to keep been fooling around. <laughs> I'm Santa Claus a Crime Fighter. <laughs> I'm the Santa Claus. I can shake the claws and cry by turn I can shake a lot of the way Santa Claus is coming to town to bring the baddies down Who the fear the bringer of cheer cause Santa's making his rounds All the boys and girls will hear the bells of Santa's sleigh The Santa Claus is coming to town to make the naughty pay I can Santa Claus and cry by turn I can the same the day I can shake the claws and cry for turn I can shake a lot of the way we like to think that's one of the more aggressive Christmas songs on the market today. Thanks, dude. But that wasn't the only music inside the world of Sea Squad. Oh, fuck. I mean, Batman was really adamant about re-recording that song where he smells and Robin laid an egg and stuff. You're not gonna play that, are you? No, Batman's still in post-production. He is still fucking mixing that shit down. Was he picky? Batman is very picky. But then, do you remember when Jesus went back to grunge times, 1990-something? Oh, you filthy. Yeah, here's our grunge Jesus song, remember? Oh. I'm just a guy from Bethlehem. I'm just a son of God, that's just who I am One day you guys are gonna nail me to a tree But I got to pet dinosaurs because of time traveling Let's go! Time traveling Jesus, save your soul Time traveling Jesus, I'll change the world Time traveling Jesus, save your soul Time traveling Jesus, time traveling, time traveling Jesus, yeah I'm just a guy from Nazareth My dad is God and my stepdad is pissed I bring eternal damnation in hell and I bring fish Is that some water you've got? Well, boom, wine it is yeah. Time traveling Jesus, save your soul Time traveling Jesus, I'll change the world Time traveling Jesus, save your soul Time traveling Jesus, time traveling, time traveling Jesus Traveling me, I'll save your soul. Time traveling me, I'm gonna change the world. My dad made it up. Time traveling me, I'll save your soul. Time traveling me, time traveling, time traveling me, yeah. Don't you filthy, dirty. I know, Steve and I are at odds because of a show with this theme song. <laughs> That we run through religious history and look at all the bullshit we can see from here, but there is more than we will ever know. You son of a bitch. That's actually one of the only shows that has like an outro song too, like this. <laughs> Some shit we made up on the spot about your god. Damn, that shit was not that funny, but you can't. 
can't unhear what you just heard. Shit's based on a true story, though. You low time. No, I have a lot of blasphemous songs. I played a song called Saved a long time ago from my band Catharsis Engine. That's like a heavy band. Hated it. It was actually a collaboration overseas, but whatever. Yeah. Well, fuck it. It's got the coolest guitar playing. Not me. All over it. Check it out. No. Just a snippet. I use it all the time when I want to get pumped. <laughs> But I think one of the most blasphemous songs that I've ever played. You son of a- Actually, I'm not sure. Did I play Zombie Jesus? What? For Easter this year, did I play Zombie Jesus with Sumper? You mother- uh, It goes like this. Born to a woman who never knew a man. His father was invisible, but worship through the land. They named this baby Jesus and they nailed him to a tree. Upon this hateful thing, they found it Christianity. Oh, you're so edgy. Dude, I recorded that song like a decade you ago. You've been a blasphemous cunt your whole life. Right, and like I said, I don't like to offend my neighbors. I just like to make fun of the things that they believe, because all of us are really silly. Uh -oh. I mean, I've shared some of my stupid beliefs in all sorts of fucking podcasts at this point. You filthy. No, I remember the most blasphemous song. It was this one. Hey, I love it when you talk about my citizens. Etc. Etc. You no moral have it. Yeah, yeah. People like their silly shit. More dumb fuckery after these messages. Cat shit on the floor. Records presents the brand new album from Anarchists Against Anarchy. Just do what the government says, you asshole. Featuring super edgy tracks like Snowflake. Super nihilistic songs like Worst Things in the World, that's about you. We've got to be the worst things in the world. We just can't see how truly awful we are. Hey, hey, it's not to say we can't do something good. But shit, we drink your water, it's the best that we can do. Then there's the live favorite, the douchebag anthem. Do -do -douche, do -douche, do -douche, do -douche, do douche, do douche, do douche, do douche, to a beautiful oblivion. So you, you, you're a douche, whoa. Raise your hands if you were a douche. You, you, you were a douche, whoa. Raise your hands if you were a douche. And then there's the random song that just picks on Christianity, cause fuck my dad. Christians hate it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christians hate it, yeah, 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 yeah. Christians hate it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this song's about like the government or something, I don't know. Just call me a freak, just one of the big. Just call me a beast, my shepherds. Better call it a priest or elect a thief. Better hire a creep to save us. Then there's your controversial hit song, which isn't really very compassionate, even though they're supposed to be like super, super compassionate. So it's kind of weird and we all kind of feel like, what? Methodist, Methodist, skiing down the alleyway from side to side. Methodist, Methodist. Get the 
brand new super edgy album do what the government says you assholes available now out of the trunk of my car i'm in pioneer square in seattle like every other wednesday but not before like 1 30. all right we're back and you know we really did put some people to work tim got to work and we had some folks digging to see what songs we actually did over this last year all terrible songs that should be buried forever you know i'll probably feel that way sometime in court or like at my gulag hearing because yeah. going after people who love big government and who also love jesus it's really not making me a lot of friends yeah you're a huge cunt you should probably go in the woods and just lay down right well most of the time i just try to be a distraction i think i can make you laugh from time to time so that's what i try to do Hate. and one of my favorite places to escape to is space oh god you're gonna play the gunner halifax thing oh, just for a second steve oh my god we've heard it i know but it's been scientifically crafted to give you dopamine oh, steve fuck. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. That's all you need for the dopamine to surge. I want to punch you so hard. Well, that's well-deserved, Steve. But, you know, I didn't ever think of Gunner Halifax as, like, a musical show. Oh, this is awful. But our researchers, mainly Tim... Who sucks. Yeah, he probably missed tons of stuff. He found a few things in the Gunner Halifax show, like this theme song. He's got me on the moon, it's true. He's got an Halifax. He's seen the world from different kind of view. from you. Halifax. Halifax. He's seen the pyramids of Mars. He's got an Halifax. He's flown a spaceship really far. He's got an Halifax. He is a secret space cadet. He's got an Halifax. And he likes to fuck aliens. He's got an Halifax. He isn't actually very smart. He's got an Halifax. I don't think I remember this part. He's got an Halifax. The Adventures of Gunnar Halifax is filmed in front of a live studio audience. God, that show's stupid. Right, well, I wrote a theme song just for one specific episode to kind of throw you guys a curveball. Remember that? I don't pay attention to the show. It was like Super Epic Space Stories or something with Vern Nova Scotia. Ugh. Welcome to Super Epic Space Stories with Captain Vern Nova Scotia. Vern Nova Scotia. Vern Nova Scotia. Vern Nova Scotia. Today on Super Epic Space Stories, Vern Nova Scotia and his crew have followed a distress signal to a grouping of ships that seem abandoned. What will befall our wholesome heroes? Let's find out. And then what really the episode was, was the first episode of Book of Shmogi, which has this theme song. Okay. Now, the whole point of that show was to hype you up about something and then cancel it like two episodes into it. That was like why I wanted to do it. It was kind of a spoof on Disney and some of the people that just like, hey, check this out. And it's like, oh, no, you'd like it. Too bad. And they started like in Buck Kiss. And I guess I killed off the Spock guy. What are you talking about? There wasn't supposed to be a lot of bookish mogies, but I just ended up wanting to play that theme song more. You're such an ass. Right. Well, here's another song from the Gunner Halifax series. <sighs> Oh, come on, not this song. I love this song. Wait, you're not actually going to sing over this song, Oh, are you? yeah, baby. Oh, come on. Who thought this was a good idea? It's in our contract. What about our theme song? Oh, right. So no one told me that space would be this way. You signed up for this. Job sucks, your boss is a cunt. Hey. And I am not okay. I don't like you guys either. It always seems like you're in... Warp 2! Warp 2! Two. Warp 2 is actually pretty fast. But if you guys don't stop talking shit, I'm gonna stick the robot cougar on you. Don't let that thing out. Oh shit, the robot cougar's loose. It's going to hunt us all down and kill us. Robot cougar's loose. Seriously, there's no remote control for that thing. Robot cougar's loose. I still don't regret buying the robot cougar. It's cool to say you have We're all gonna die. Yeah, Thanks a lot for coming over to my condo in Coruscant, you cunt. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> You know, I don't even remember doing that. Yikes, dude. Or fucking this one, for that matter. No, no more. Yes, more. If it wasn't for Gun Halifax, I would be able to relax. But I fucking can't. But I fucking can't because he's a piece of shit and I hate him. If it wasn't for Gun Halifax, he'd be able to relax. But I fucking can't. But I fucking can't. But I fucking can't. Because he's a piece of shit and I hate him. If it wasn't for Gun Halifax, he'd be telling him Gun Halifax. Face your pants. Face your pants. He blew up a goddamn pyramid. The mark. He don't ever go to hell fast. He don't ever go to hell fast. Fucking go to hell. He don't ever spaceship sitting there's a alien chair. Spaceship sitting there's a alien chair. So it really.
really can't be just weed that you're smoking. Well, I appreciate that sentiment. Yeah. And, well, I didn't expect Gunnar Halifax to have a lot of music. All of that was awful. Right, but we did bake a musical character into Liam the Monster Hunter with the, oh, you fuck. know. God damn it. It ended up becoming Albus Biggerstaff and the Black Market Wizards. Are you going to play a bunch of that shit? Well, here was the first song that he played. Oh my god. I think it's called Father Something Something. Patrons oh. of the Fork and Tittle. Oh shit. Welcoming to the stage. Son of a is bitch. Is Albus Bigger Dick. Damn it. Bigger Staff. He's got a huge cock. Put it together. It right, looks like uh, your son's going to sing us a show. Oh, God This is it. a song that goes out to my piece of shit, Dad. Oh, fuck. Father, father, oh, hate you because you are a dick. Oh, said, father, father, made me do all that magic when I was a kid. I was said, so father, oh, father, oh. I wanted to play a star with my friends. And father, father, I want you to die. I know, I know, shit. Wow. Thank you very much. You're an adult, you dipshit. Grow up. Yikes, dude. Yeah, it's a tense relationship. There's so much crying for help in your show. Yeah, then there was this song. By the way, where is my no good loser degenerative son? Yeah, I haven't seen him actually for no. a bit. Oh, God damn it. I know what that means. What's that? God Ladies damn and it. gentlemen of the oh. Voracious Wankers Tavern, straight uh, from Demon Guard City. He's not from Demon Guard City. Albus, bigger stuff. Uh, Thank you, you guys. This song is called Father You Lied. Oh, this dad right there is my father who lied. Oh, hello. God damn father. it. You guys Got some issues. I know it. Father, you lies. I have no idea what he's talking you about. You lied to me. About what? You're a grown man. Father, you're heckling your kid, dude. Stop writing songs about me, you punk. Father, you're a dick. Well, I mean, I agree and with him on that. I don't yeah. like Shut it up. when you tell me things that I don't want to hear. That's because you're emotionally immature. Just, you're just, just you're making it worse. Cry, it gets worse than cry. this. Cry cause you know that I'm sensitive now, Can we boo this man? Oh, yeah. I say we boo this man Boo! 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 You're terrible! Boo! Seriously, you probably should, like, talk to somebody. Yeah, then there was this one. Ladies and gentlemen of the Broken Follicle. Here, the Northgate. From New North Bork City. Here we go again. He's not from New North Bork City. All this biggest stuff. Now, this crowd's gonna eat him alive. Hello, thank you. I broke my good loot in a raid from a bunch of orcs. So I just spot this one. I'm gonna see what I got here. This song is called... Fuck you, Dad. Yeah, of course. It is. Fuck you, Dad. Uh, Fuck you, Dad. Uh, Sitting over there uh, with the stupid hello. boys hat. That's me. Fuck you, Dad. Right. Fuck you, Dad. He's my spawn. Piece of shit. Almost get me killed yeah. by orcs. Right. Orcs. Yeah. orcs. Orcs. Why are you hanging out with us? Orcs. Fuck you, Dad. Yeah. Fuck you, Dad. Okay. Fuck you, Dad. Yeah, get it. Fuck you, Dad. Fine. Fuck you, Dad. That's fair. Get a real job. Thank you. Now, do you hear people clapping? I sure don't. No one likes you. Now, calm down. Boo. We should chill out. Bro. No, let's boo this man. No, right, that was that. terrible. Boo. Are these all about daddy issues? No, this one's about pigeon envy. What? I don't know. Something pigeon oriented. <laughs> Better not be about me. Pigeon of destiny. It's a pigeon of destiny. It's a pigeon of destiny. Father, it's a pigeon of destiny. Here we go. It's a pigeon of destiny. What's that? Oh. Wait, 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 stop. Bard, stop. I haven't even gotten to the first first yet. No, I think he brought the goblins Shit. on us. Yep. Damn I smell him. His shitty song brought the goblins Shit. on us. Oh. And that's all we have to listen to, right? Oh, no, there's more. Oh. Shit, there's even more pigeon-based music like this one. What the hell is everybody laughing? Oh, god damn it. Ladies and gentlemen of the Pitchfork and Pickles, hailing from the Northern Folk Kingdom. They're not from the Northern Folk. Hobbit's biggest staff and the Black Bucket Wizards. But those aren't wizards, those are hobbits. Uh, thank you, guys. Hobbits. This is a song uh. that we wrote. To commemorate our journeys. Oh Toss a coin to the pigeon, the pigeon of destiny, the pigeon that saves us. Oh, toss a coin to the pigeon, the pigeon named Barfield, the pigeon that saves us every single show. Now let's do some ooze. Oh, pigeon of destiny. Ooh, the pigeon of destiny, ooh, 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 the pigeon of destiny has saved me again. Thank you, we are all the speaker staff, the black market wizards. Okay, that's gotta be all. Nope, there was another bard that sang this song. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen of the Treehouse Tavern, let me sing you a tale. Shit. Oh, well. There's a man and a talking horse. 
I'm gonna talk in horse. And a wizard. I've got a wizard too. Oh. And a pigeon of destiny. Oh shit, Barfield, the song's about us. Oh. We travel the world. Keep your head down, I think. Oh. We do little hobbies. Oh, it's definitely about us. Oh. What is fucking going on? I don't know what to think about this. It oh. is really about the pigeon of destiny. Yeah, yeah, I'm in Barfield's story. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck is that guy doing? I think that guy just had a stroke or something. Yeah. Well, I see people looking at us, Barfield. I see that. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, that has to be all. No, not even close. There's these. Oh, my God. That's when he dies. That's when the giant dies. When the hobbits climbed up its thick hole. Thick hole. Uh, it doesn't go there. It doesn't go to the G minor. It goes to the it, it yeah. eases. We should stop and do some drugs. Well, we've only got a few more days before our show. Yeah, we could probably do some drugs. Yeah, let's do some drugs. You guys don't even know all the songs yet. It's too late. We're doing drugs. Yeah. And then there's this one. The dragons don't stand a chance. As the dragons all lose their heads. When the pigeons have come for them. They die. Oh, the dragons they die. Oh, the dragons they die. At the beach of the pigeons who cry. Is that right? No, you don't want to. No, it's got to play a G there. No. There's a fucking G. It's not a G. I wrote the song. You guys want to do some E? And here's a few in a row. Oh, my God, make it stop. I'm living in Marnia. I'm happy as a cunt in all of this. I'm living in Marnia. Dragons and demons and werewolves and all that shit. I'm living in Marnia. Marnia is where I live. Marnia. There's dragons and shit. Dragons and shit. Dragons and shit. Robert, what the fuck, Bum Pluggins? He, he feels asleep. We have to take this seriously. I am this. <laughs> Dick ass horse, dick the horse, he's a talking horse, his name is Dick. Ooh, it's a dick, his name is Dick, and he's a horse, and he talks because he's a dick horse. I love that dick horse, he's my friend, and he talks to him, his name is Dick. Dick horse, dick. I don't like it when I'm high on drugs. I don't write good songs when I'm super high on drugs. Yeah, we sound amazing and we're a good band. I feel like I just want to lay down in the grass. Yeah, let's try this new song. Death and hate, burning fire, column shit, funeral pyre, blood and guts, demon hunts, stupid little goblin cunts, exploding fish, dickosaurs, leprechauns and minotaurs, dragons slain, werewolf bane, barfields come to slay again, witches spells, griffin tails, kill burn fire, ass in hell, evil shit, work and witch, Vampires and the dragon jizz Suck you bust Giant cunts Barfield comes to fuck you up the Death and hate Burning fire Call them shit Funeral car Yeah We are in We are in Mania We are in Mania We live in Mania And it sucks royal dick yeah, I think you need to go up a third on that harmony, because that's not, that's probably not right. Yeah, go fuck yourself. One, two, three, four. Father, you're a piece of shit. Father, you're a dick. Father, I repeat myself because I hope it sticks. Father, you embarrass me, and Father, I ignore everything you say to me because you are a cunt. Father, shut the fuck up. Father, shut your face. Father, there's a place for cunts like you and Satan says. Father, there's a time and place to be this how you are. Father, 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 fuck you fucking dad. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Father, you're a piece of shit. Father, you're a dick. Father, I repeat yeah, myself up, because I up. hope it's... You guys hold gotta up. not do that there. Yeah. When you do that there, it makes me pissed at you. Oh, I thought we were going into the bridge there. It was like, motherfuck you, dad. Motherfuck you, dad. Yeah, the motherfuck you, dad. No, it comes after the verse where I call him out for not letting me go to art school. Okay, now we have to be done. Nope, there's a couple more. Here's one about Smurfs. Ugh. You guys want to hear a song? Not at all. Too bad. I mean, we're doing stuff. Fuck uh, Papa Smurf, baby Smurf, <laughs> Papa Smurf. That's right, yes. Fuck all the Smurfs, all the Smurfs, all the Smurfs. Yeah. So 
world. Fun. Fuck every smart friend, their village, and let them die. Wow. And drown in my current stream. It was super fun. Fuck the Smurfs. Fuck them Smurfs. Fuck That's right. The Smurfs. Fuck the Smurfs. As I piss on piss their on village. Him. Piss on their village. Killing Papa Smurf. Fuck the Smurfs. Will you shut the fuck up? Give me that. Now it's over. Nope, but it will be after this one. Oh my god, finally. Jabberwocky. Suck your bite. A fucking jackalope tried to make me die. It, I don't really like it. What do you mean you don't like it? I'm just starting it. Yeah, I think you should abandon it. Yeah, write something better. You didn't even let me get to the chorus yet. Carry me, beautiful hobbits. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful hobbits. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Beautiful hobbits. Yeah, okay. Fuck my life. God damn it. Fuck you assholes. Yeah. Alright, so we've done a lot of music today. So much. And the Dave and Angus show, they could probably do their own version of this. Oh, I don't want to be there for that. I know. But we also have many other songs here in Scatcast, like the Lilac City Nightmare Band. Hate it. There's been lots of random crap. Hate it. Especially in the dipshit files, but it was very difficult to try and dig through that. Ugh. I do want to leave you guys with an entire bonus episode of the Lilac City Nightmare Band. Dumb. And it actually appeared in the litter box as part of the Inside Scooper a couple weeks ago. No, thank you. But the patrons are getting access to a Lilac City Nightmare Band exclusive EP. Don't care. But here's the making of one of those songs. Also don't care. Yeah, yeah. And now back to the Lilac City Nightmare Band rehearsal space. After their recent gig at the Slime Shed Sports Bar, I'd say none of them really felt it went that great. Dude! Yeah, damn it. My grandpa gave me that guitar. We played like shit, Rooster. That's no reason for you to break my family heirlooms, dude. Come here, you little shit. We played like crap. Put me down. I told you we needed to be more brutal. There was ultimately only like seven people there. Well, that's a good reason to throw a guitar. That's never a good reason to throw a guitar. Shut the fuck up, Toby. Yeah, he's right. We should never smash guitars. We should just give them to a kid. I agree. That's a problem. You two aren't brutal enough. Wasting guitars isn't that brutal. The Who weren't brutal, and they did it all the time. I don't want to hear about the fucking Who. Oh, I like the Who. We talk about Slayer, Middle Church, Anthrax, Bon Jovi. No, nope, goddammit, no. Pantera, Metallica. I kind of like Alice in Chains. You go fucking sit in a corner. And so the band came together for a late night rehearsal. Mainly they were drinking, but music was also being made. Here we go. Dude, this is too heavy to be a hit. I ain't trying to write no hit. And you write shitty fucking lyrics. Shut the fuck up. Count us off, Bones. Seriously, what? these better not be terrible lyrics. <laughs> Dude, 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 shut up, shut up, hold what on. What the hell is a rooftop? Uh, the song's kind of grooving, right? Yeah. Now tell me you didn't write a bunch of shitty fucking word salad lyrics. Why the fuck would you stop to ask me that shit? Dude, do you promise? You guys, let's yeah, play. Count us off, Bones. I mean, this is how you ruin our songs. <laughs> Stop, 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 dude, 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 stop. Oh, what's going on, Rooster? You're killing the vibe here. No, I was looking ahead at the lyrics. I can read the lyrics. No, give me that. You don't get to look at my lyrics. No, I don't think I like what you had scribbled down there, dude. No, just play the damn song. No, no, no. Let's go from the verse. Go from the first verse. Is that the part where I go whittle de diddle de? What? Or where I go whittle de diddle? Dude, it's the fucking verse part, dude. Oh, oh, okay. All right, take it from the yeah. verse. Count of sin, Bones. All right, one, two, three, four. Real spook, three frogs, chicken bones. Cheap fish by Tommy Lee Jones. Dude, dude, stop, stop fucking playing that fucking what? You're starting to piss me uh, off. just play the song? Dude, no, no, he said piss boobs, tree frogs, and is that chicken bones? It's none of your business. Dude, I gotta get on stage with you and sing this shit with you. You just sing your part. Dude, my part's cool. It's like, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. Yeah. And me and Bones are like harmonizing. Whatever. Your verses are like, we're diarrhea, dude. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Bones, no. count us in. This is One, unacceptable, two, three, dude. Four. Piss boobs, tree frogs, chicken bones. See? Cheap fish by Tommy Lee Jones. John Park, St. Bruce, Tess, White Five, Baby Chin, Cup, Corn Pop, Rock of the Dead. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Right. Fucking no. Dude, dude. You said dog barf. No, I didn't. Dude, yes, you fucking did. Maybe. Then you said something like a testify about dog barf, dude. This song's about my stepdad. Dude, you said dog barf. Now, can we just play the song all the way through? Dude. Seriously, guys. Plus, you guys, I think Bones is injecting cobra venom into his asshole. Now, damn it, Bones. It's the only way to inject cobra venom. You can critique my lyrics later. Let's get through the song. Dude, I don't want to play a song with you if you're singing about dog barf. Well, dog barf is brutal. Dude, it is not brutal. There's almost nothing more brutal than dog barf. Well, fuck you, dude. I quit if we're playing a song. 
song about dog bark. Yeah. Come on, you guys. This dog barf song is tearing our band apart. Can we just play the whole damn song, please? Yeah. No dog barf, dude. Yeah, count us in, Bones. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Fucking stop, dudes. Stop. Now why are we stopping? Yeah, seriously, I was about to go fuck it all. Oh, wait, I'm daddle daddle I'm seriously. Well, first of all, you said dog barf, maybe. And I swear to fuck you said Seahawks, mm. Pornhub, no. Coca-Cola, no. Big Mac, MasterCard. I'm trying to get the band some corporate sponsors. Dude, you fucking think corporate sponsorship is brutal? No, but to be brutal at the level I'd like to be brutal, it costs money. Dude, that's fucking weird. Well, you don't think Satan loves money? Yeah. I don't think Satan uh, would love money. Yeah. See, Toby knows what's up. Dude, fuck this band. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. Whatever. We need to write a fucking hit. And that there's episode four of the Lilac City Nightmare Band. Join us some other time for more shit that's similar to this. Hell, probably absolutely fucking identical. Creativity is hard. Goodbye and God bless. All right, and I do want to say goodbye. Thank you for listening to the musical episode of Scatcast, Ugh. episode 55. And I want to do it the way we did it a few episodes back. When I was on vacation? No, it was episode 45 when we did it with the magic music. What? Like this. From California, favorite human in the world and wife to me, Mrs. Scriptkeeper! Yep, love of my life right there. And starting at Shitbox Wizard from Indiana, Donald Fisher! And starting at Discord, Dookie Slayer from Ohio, Chris Brooks! Chris Brooks, Chris Brooks. And starting at Scat Cats Quartermaster from Texas, 900 time time suck trivia champion, Bodhi Soliata! That's right, Bodhi Soliata. Dipshit Files Researcher. Also starting at Button Pusher, Steve the Button Pusher guy. That's right, and then we have, you know, Tim the Intern, who sucks. Yep, that's right. That's good, that's good on you. Info at scatcast.com. Scatcast.com for merch. Yes, Tim sucks. Patreon.com forward slash scatcast to help us. Five bucks a month gets you the inside scooper, which gets you all sorts of extra shit. And as always, we'll talk at you in the future. It'll seem like the present vibe. <laughs> Bing, Bing bong music. What? I'm coffee. Oh, yeah, and fat cats. Matthew Pernar, Lucifina Lightbringer, Jason Clayser, Donald Fisher, and Christopher Garland. I'm trying, brother. As well as Jose Montez, Sean Burrett, Chris Eason, and Lynn Hoagland are Hall of Famers. And thank you to everyone in the litter box. And everyone outside. Dude, we're past the end thing. I know, this is weird. I don't know how to stop. Get out of my way.